My name is Thomas Paulson, and I live in Calgary, Alberta. I would like people to suspend their judgments and prejudgments and keep an open mind. Title, Our Canada, My Story. He walks along a sidewalk of a bridge using two arm brace canes. I think one of the reactions that I, I often see when I first meet people is um, uncertainty about what to make of me when they see me. My sense is that disability is not well understood by the population at large. My disability is uh, called cerebral palsy, and it can affect people in very many different ways. In my case, it, it principally affects my mobility, motor coordination, and balance. He rolls into a room on his wheelchair with a broom and dustpan. I live on my own. I live by myself. I'm responsible for the bulk of the home cleanup. The tasks which are the trickiest for me are sweeping and mopping the floors. Luring himself to the floor, he begins to sweep. My sense is that there has been discrimination in different areas of life, in employment or day-to-day -day interactions or services that I might receive. I think that I've experienced things that most people don't have to contend with. I've been involved with groups such as the Disability Action Hall, which is an advocacy organization that I have belonged to for a number of years that have been very active in promoting the, the widest possible access to, to public services like transportation and structures and access to housing. He gets into his truck and drives off into a rainy day. Sometimes people will address me if I happen to be with someone else. Rather than addressing me with something they want to say about me, they'll pose a question or a comment to someone who happens to be with me. These things feel very alienating to me. As the rain splashes his windshield, his eyes are reflected in his rear view mirror. I would like people to treat me and respond to me in the same ways that they would anyone else that they were getting to know or experiencing for the first time. I've been reflecting for a while now as to when it was I first discovered that I loved to dance. But I kind of imagine it was when I discovered that to be standing still is uncomfortable and sometimes painful for me. But when I'm in movement, it's never so. The dance group practices. Momo Dance Theater is a fully integrated dance theater company based here in Calgary. Fully integrated meaning that we welcome and embrace dancers and performers and learners and teachers all along the ability spectrum, whether they happen to live with an identifiable disability or not. As one of the dancers, he rhythmically moves his body and canes. When I, when I move in uh, a manner that is unique to me, I hope that people will come to see it and to recognize it as something which is unique and something which has value in an artistic sense. To this day, there really aren't that many opportunities for people with disabilities to participate in things like theater and in things like dance. I think that just by being out there, by being visible, we're helping to break down barriers. I'm not really completely comfortable with the use of the word acceptance because to me it almost seems like acceptance means it's almost like you're, you're tolerating someone's presence. In our community, we talk about embracing people's differences, valuing people's differences. With and without his wheelchair, he choreographs with the troop. Through the course of finding community with like-minded people and people who have a common experience with you, you become much less lonely and much more connected to something bigger. I would like to continue to open people's eyes towards the potential of those who live with disabilities. Credits, Canadian Museum for Human Rights, Canada 150, with special thanks to Thomas Poulsen and the Momo Dance Theatre Calgary, a Humane Hology film, an initiative of the Calgary Centre for Global Community.